thankfully they really did a struggle in that game to kind of deal with, with some of those strategies. So, you know, will be interesting to see if they are going to be able in to... In Fog of War right now. So here he's spotted now by Jensen. Good rune prison gives him space. The flash knockup still going to land, though. And the chains afterwards. Do they have the damage? The Prey Seeker finds them. And so far up, I don't have vision. Maybe I should be afraid of Rek'Sai. Mm -hmm. uh, playing very far from the turret. And oh, oh suddenly JJ's man. here. Flashes in, finds some damage and a second kill already on the board. Like Two. Advantage his own leads. So, you know, I'm really not afraid of him. It's, it's fine. And in this game, though, ooh, and in the bot lane as well, but that's the big shielding you kind of get out of 4JJ. He's going to withstand pretty much all that damage. This ult could be an all-in for Turtle. Exhaust comes in. He's still putting the Qs out. Finds the root, but has to flash away from double his Q. Flash over the wall as he gets away from JJ, but now Smithy with Predator Ron is on the way over. This is a flashless Nautilus. There's the first slow from Lux. He's almost in rage. He's going to flash, and that's almost surely going to be a kill. The shield's not an epic. Smithy is on the board. This is the flash from the Caitlyn. And then, then no flash on the Nautilus means Smithy can walk in, flash all. Go back to base, they're going to lose all of this farm, so they don't feel that they can actually go for the reset. Oh, core spots oh. it! And just outside. When you send JJ and Turtle up to the top lane, double lift and core JJ were already you know, pushing this. Coming lane. through right here, and we've got the first Drake of the game coming down without any difficulties as Team Liquid with their new oh, at one turret will get on the board for FlyQuest. No one is answering Pobolter in the side lane. Impact sitting far enough back that he becomes very, very squishy. Yeah. You know, those, those levels are quite important for support who doesn't have a lot of gold income. Viper is pushing on that bottom lane, so they're going to have to try to send down Impact to answer this. It will be TL, though, taking another... Yeah, gets done here is Mid lane is cleared off. TL can fight for some more. They got to respect the Walter. He can flash over, and he's going to find that first pull, and they're going to find the damage of the double lift. The stolen Xmith, the ult's a huge deal. Goes for round two over the wall. Goes Scar, barely survives, but no. Viper has found him and finds kill number two as well. Rise only pushing the top lane. Two kills for FlyQuest. Yeah, they get those two kills. They like they can get the dragon here as well, but they actually want to respond, it looks like, to Rise on that top lane. Jensen will get a tier two turret. They might go and Baron. a bit of a farm, but yeah, they are heading towards Baron. Smithy is dead. This would be a risky move to make, though. It is 20 minutes and 30 seconds into the game, so this Baron will do a lot of damage. But they are killing it very, very fast with that Mountain Dragon. No combat ults are up for Team Liquid. It's Realm Warp only. TP brings their fifth member back into the pool, and there is not a smite. They can find pull up here, though. That's a lot of damage! And he gets himself killed on the oh, TP. Take the three for a real chance to smite it. This should be easy, and he grabs it. But now the fight. This could be hard. A second kill does go to Team Liquid. They answer the kills back. But now you got to watch out for the rest of this one. That was a great opening, and Jensen finds yet another one. Positive TL for now, unless they can find a way to really get something from this Baron buff. But because they are weaker as far as the combat power, they likely can't push forward with it anyway. And you can see those insane Skarner stats here for Smithy has been such a good champion for him over the last year or so in the LCS. Yeah. Really making it work for him and his team. And that is Cloud Drake now picked up as well. A second combat Drake for TL to get back from a deficit now. As Botley in tier two falls, the Baron buff times out at a pretty much neutral Baron power play, all things considered. It certainly is, but it's also scary going in as Pobelter because he has no QSS, he has no Zonias. If you get ulted there, you can be well, in trouble too, but he's found he's Jensen. Find one, he's rooted, but they still got the pull. They're going for Rise of Flash. Redemption, so much shielding. Rise is yet to fall. Guardian Angel will drop, but now the re-engage impact puts on a ton of damage on a JJ. And a second kill follows through as well. They're going to find a third. This is completely Team Liquid, and they're on top of Viper. Coiled around him, he's constricted and dead. Four the inhibitor into Baron. We'll find out what kind of a play TL want to make, though. You know what's at least in hit based on posturing there. They're running forward on the turret. They know Wild Turtle is now with Baron. JJ. Yep. And yeah, with Rek'Sai back alive in three seconds, they're going to run back to this northern. Hear that? But they have started up this Baron. They're trying to force the hand of FlyQuest. And you know, Viper has no TP. He's still at base. Here comes Double Lift. A million damage and a JJ burning down. He's gone. Oh! Nice ult through from Lux. Now Wild Turtle has to ult try to get away. Staying alive as he can. In back in the front lines. Takes some damage. But they have turned right away for this fight. Turtle at one third health, even lower than that. And FlyQuest running. He has all the blue smite there. Not gonna go for the pull. Hit the Baron over the wall thanks to all that additional range. So Teal are laying a trap. And they're getting damage to the Pobolter right now. Take some shots with there. They're aware of Santorin as well, but the health bar is so low. He's not gonna be in range. Picked up there for the first one. There's the pull, but it doesn't really matter for his impact. 
Over the long as well, they're chased now down, and the rest of the squad coming in with the Realm War. Put down the back lane. You gotta watch out for that one. Not gonna happen, though. There are no kills picked up for FlatQuest. It's all Team Liquid all the time. A three for zero already. JJ is assuredly gonna drop oh. another snipe for Core JJ. He says, I wear the letters better. Have a final spark. And this is certainly gonna be it. While Turtle is alone against all of Team Liquid, he can kill some minions. But there's still so much more time to play with. You can blast Cone away. You're, it's fun watching him run. It's a wild goose chase. He is a bird man after all, but this is certainly the base going down. You can go back to the top side as Turtle is going to live for a few more seconds. We're still watching the Nexus turrets fall in a second. The inhibitors are gone. Team Liquid, there's the final kill. 15 to 4 on the scoreboard. They will improve to 3 and 2. And your MSI finalists, the three time LCS champions, are going to be taking down the Nexus. A 30 minute win over FlyQuest. And one of their strongest performances of the season thus far, Team Liquid really turning it up after that.